sometimes known as the halo hydrogen reaction. But it's still the basic principle. It's a halogenation and addition reaction across that carbon to carbon double bond. So it's still addition across that carbon to carbon double bond. On one end of the double bond, we add on a halogen. And on the other end of the double bond, we add on an alcohol group after the hydrogen has dropped off water. So we now have halogen and alcohol addition across the double bond. And we have bromine solution mixed with water. The left over bit, the hydrogen from the water, and the second bromine, usually combined together to give a minor side product. This is a product we're interested in, we refer to sometimes as a bromal hydrogen compound. <coughs> Again, the addition is very specific in the molecule. It's regio specific. The side which has more hydrogen in the double bond, that's the side that gets the halogen. The halogen now taking the place of hydrogen addition. The other side has more hydrogen. That's the side that gets the bromine, and the side with less hydrogen is the side which gets the alcohol the addition of the molecule. So this reaction is regio specific. Regio specific because the addition of the halogen and the alcohol group is specific to the carbon depending on whether it has more or less hydrogen attached initially. It can also be said to be a stereospecific reaction with cyclic alkenes because again, at the halogen addition, the addition is across opposite sides of the ring. So the halogen adds to one side, the alcohol group adds to the other side of the ring. So the halogen always adds to the side with more hydrogen than the original alkene. Whenever we mix an alkene, a halogen and water, we get this halo hydrogen addition reaction. All the fun happens across the double bond. And if there's one side, one of the carbons in the double bond, which has more hydrogen, that's the side that gets the halogen. The carbon with the less hydrogen is decided to get the alcohol OH group. If there's restricted rotation because of our ring in the compound, then the addition is trans for the alcohol product. So zero hydrogen, one hydrogen, this is the side that gets the halogen, the chlorine. And this is the side which has the OH group added. One hydrogen, one hydrogen, but it doesn't matter which way you're going to put it, because it's a cyclic alkene, a trans configuration, opposite sides of the ring is important. We say the reaction is regio specific, regio selective, because the bromine always adds to the carbon, which has more hydrogen. And we say that it's stereo selective, because the final orientation of the product if it's a cycle is that trans configuration. The halogen and the alcohol group on opposite sides of the plane of the ring. Now for our fourth wonderful exciting reaction, we also have production of alcohol from alkenes under acidic aqueous conditions. So we have got water in the reaction and a small amount of acidity, it doesn't have to be much, just a catalytic amount. But by the time we finish and produce one alcohol molecule, 
they've reproduced some of the acid. So it keeps getting rebooted up, produced more and more. So the acid is our catalyst. Kickstarts each reaction. And catalyst isn't used up, it's reproduced by the end of the reaction. And again, it's an addition reaction, as all of our alkene reactions are, to opening up that carbon to carbon double bond. And we're adding water across the molecule. This is why we sometimes refer to these reactions as hydration reactions. One end of the molecule gets the alcohol group, one end gets the hydrogen. And again, it's an example of a reaction that follows McCartney-Cobb's rule. If one of the two carbons in the double bond has more hydrogen, then that's the carbon that gets the hydrogen in the hydration addition. Again, a time on a tradition, some examples. That double bond opens up. This carbon doesn't have any hydrogen, so it's the position of the OH group. This is one, so that's the position that gets the hydrogen addition. And the H2SO4, the sulfuric acid, remember, is just a catalyst. So that catalyst is not chemically changed during the course of the reaction. Again, the reaction isn't involving any big bulky halogen atoms, so there's no particular stereochemistry to the product. <coughs> sometimes the two groups are, up there are added, sometimes they'll be on the same side of the molecule, sometimes they might be trans to each other. Stereo selective aspect of these reactions is only present when we have these halogens involved. The halohydrin reaction, a reaction with that halogen itself. The other one makes up and we've got one hydrogen on each side, so either either side the hydrogen will add and actually just get the same product in. This time it is important, it's a regional selector. Zero hydrogens here, one hydrogen attached here, so that's the side that gets the hydrogen on the other end of the polymer double bond, is where the alcohol group attaches. That double bond, this is where all the action happens when these alkenes react, because that's the weakest point in the chain for that alkene molecule. Vulnerable, high energy, carbon to carbon, double bond. Why did you say that there was zero carbon? There's zero hydrogen here. Yep, yeah, yeah. Zero hydrogen here. Count the bonds. One, two, three, and then double one, four. Okay. okay. There's no hydrogen at that point. One hydrogen here. Yes. What did you draw up here? What is this? So here's an alkene, a reactant. What product would we get with these set of reagents from our reaction we did yesterday? Of course, they're all examples of alkene addition reactions. The alkanes undergo substitution because something comes off and something goes on. <coughs> the alkenes, we just simply add molecules to that uh, alkene. And we're adding it across the double bond. Now, a double bond, not a single bond, but the double bond part, which is held together by overlapping orbitals above and below the plane of the carbons. And so when they break their link to each other, those orbitals need to do something. And what they do is use themselves to pick up a hydrogen, pick up a fluorine. But in many cases, the addition we actually said was regional selective, which means it's a specific atom addition to a specific carbon in the form of a double bond. Now, with the fluorine or the bromine fluorine reaction, it's 
not quite much of a problem because we're adding a halogen to either side of the double bond. So there's where the double bond was. And we now have chlorine and we have chlorine. The only thing to worry about the halogenation reaction was if the double bond had been part of a cyclic ring, because then it's a stereo selective process with one of the halogens above the ring and one below the ring. So there's the first product. Then it's a hydrogen fluoride reaction. Again, the basic skeleton of the molecule has not changed. The basic connectivity of carbon to carbon bonds is still all there. Basic connectivity is all about the double bond. And now the regional selective part is that the side of the alkene which had more hydrogen is the side that gets the hydrogen. That was Makovnikov rule. And so with one hydrogen here, but two hydrogens here. That's the side which gets the hydrogen. And the inner side is the side that gets the halogen. You don't have to add in the hydrogen. If you leave it like that, then there's a direct implication that there's now three hydrogens attached at that point, whereas formerly there was only two. And the last one, a halohydrate reaction, a reaction which adds a halogen and an alcohol group to the product molecule. Again, the relative connectivity, the skeleton of the organic has not changed. It's all about that pi bond opening up. And this time it's a hydrogen which is a regional selective part. Sorry, the halogen which is a regional selective part. That halogen is going on to the carbon which had more hydrogen. Which again was that outer sticky out bond. And on the inner carbon with less hydrogen, that's the position for the alcohol group. Okay. 